All right, I'd like to give you a brief introduction to statistical analysis at this point, something that we could do with these numbers. Let's flip over to sheet two. At the end of this lab, we would have replicate data from a bunch of different gel filtration purifications from each one of you guys. And with that data, we would be able to answer the question, is fraction three statistically different than fraction five in terms of um, urease to the rest of the lane um, ratio? So here, if we averaged our replicates here, can do that in Excel by saying equals big average. Highlight the, the quantities that you want to average. Um, we could also calculate a standard deviation by saying equals and then going and finding standard dev and picking the same quantities, the same cells, saying OK. We don't have to do this for fraction five. We can simply fill um, right. right. And so we see that we have an average of um, a, a ratio of um, urease to, to the lane of 1.06 for fraction three and an average of um, 0.625 for fraction five. Now let's graph that so we can see visually see how that data looks. It's always useful to graph things. Say insert. And let's do a column a column graph. Okay. Move that down here a little bit. Um, let's label. Oh, we should always label the axis. So let's say vertical. Lane ratio. Okay. Let's put let's put on standard deviation um, error bars. So uh, we'll click one of these bars here, and then we'll say add. Say set error bars. More error bar options. Error bar options. Okay. We go to custom. Say specify value. And we're going to tell it we want to we want to put the standard deviation there. So we highlight that, and then we go to negative error value, and we'll delete that, and we'll put the same values there. And there you see now we have. Now we have the averages or the means or the averages plotted along with the standard deviation for these measurements. Um, and we can see that these quantities look look different um, from one another, but we can we can then go further and assign a probability that they're different by doing a t-test. We'll say equals a t-test and we'll tell it that we want to compare fraction 3 all the values from fraction 3 to all the values in fraction 5 we want to use two-tailed t-test meaning that um, frac that array 1 can be either greater than or less than array 2 and we'll do a paired t-test I'm not going to go into details of why we would do that um, but I can I can tell you one on one why we would do that. And then say OK. And then just write here T test. Okay. And so what we see here is that we get a T test P value of 0 0.007599. What this means is that there is a there is a 0.76% chance that these two quantities um, are equal to one another. Or another way of saying that is that there's um, another way of another way of saying that is that there's a 
percent chance basically um, greater than 99 percent chance that these two quantities are not equal meaning they're they're statistically different from one another I'd like to go just a little bit further here and show you how the measure how um, your replicates can affect this um, the statistical test here the t-test so over here I have the same exact values except I've changed um, this guy here this um, fraction 3 in replica 2 to 1.7 instead of 1.1 okay we can calculate the average and standard deviation we can calculate actually everything here the same by just copying this and pasting it here it's one of the beauties of Excel um, and we'll see that here we actually have a big a larger difference between um, the means so fraction three is actually even big is even farther away from fraction five yet we don't have a statistical difference um, or we don't have as statistically significant a difference um, so here we have only a 89 percent chance that the two quantities are not equal to one another let's go ahead and graph this I think it can be easier to, to visualize if this is graphed so we're going to say insert This here. Let's do the same thing where we where we put error bars in. So we're going to say add error bars, more error bar options. Let's try that one more time. More error bar options. Okay, here we go. Custom specify value, and we'll specify the this value this time. Okay. We have to delete this. Somehow we always have to delete the negative thing for um, putting this in. And we'll see that we'll notice that while the difference between these two means is even is larger, the standard deviation here on fraction three is bigger, and that hurts our statistical. Um, that hurts our ability to see statistical difference. Anyway, that's a, I think that's a, a decent start to the idea of um, statistical analysis.